I got to start off by saying congratulations. I've been telling everybody, this is the most fun I've had in the theater all year. Oh, wow. Yeah. Thank you. Y'all did a fantastic job. What was the most, I'm going to start with you, Melissa. What was the most fun day that you had on set with Alicia? I mean, oh, we had so much fun all the time. It was, it was really just a movie where every day we were, we felt like kids playing in a playground. Like it was just so wild, the things that we got to do. Um, I think Blood Cannon Day was pretty spectacular. Like that end mm -hmm. where we're both blown, <laughs> blown away. That was, that was super fun. Also because we were both really nervous about uh -huh. it. We were very excited, but also nervous because those kinds of scenes, you have really one chance to get it right because then you're covered in blood and then you have to clean. It's a waste of time basically to clean up and reset. So we were really nervous. Both of us were like, wait, let's rehearse again. Let's rehearse again. Yeah, I kept asking you a million questions what you were going to do so yeah. we could like get it right. Yeah. But uh, it was so much fun. I'm sure some got in your mouth. What did it taste like? Like, does it taste like candy or syrup or like, what is it? I had like this blood that went in my tongue. It was like a tongue <laughs> it was like a, a black it was like a black um blood and it went all over my tongue and that actually tasted really good i liked it i kept asking for more and more because it was so nice it just tasted like sweets it tasted like that like like that syrup that you put into your mouth like the sweets it tasted so good and the blood didn't taste too bad the one that went all over our body it's it, no it was kind of sugary okay. yeah it's a little sticky yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah is it true you did all your own stunts Oh my goodness, like, how did that come about? Were, were you, did you go to the directors and you're like, I wanna do stunts? Or like, how did that happen? Well, I mean, they said it, they said it to me and they asked me, was I up for it and up for these crazy things like flying and going on wire work and on banisters. And they, they did ask me if I wanted to do it. And I was like 100%, like there was no second that crossed my mind that was like, should you do it? Like, not at all. I was, I wanted to do everything that I could and everything that was there and every stunt that Abigail had to do, I wanted to try it and I wanted to keep on trying it until I could do it. And um, so yeah, I was so excited when they told me that I could do them because I wanted to do all of them. <laughs> and that's where you're gonna have like a long, amazing career because like you love to challenge yourself. We've seen you in Matilda and now this, and I just wanna say like, we're looking forward to seeing you continue to grow within the industry because you're doing a fantastic job. Thank you. Uh, what sets this movie apart for you compared to other vampire movies? Because like obviously there's a lot of blood, but it's really, really fun. Yeah, I think that, that sets it apart. It's not like a dark, like brooding, <laughs> typical, like sexy vampire thing. It's more like a wild ride very funny like it'll have you cackling at the same time as like jumping in your seat um i think the tone is really unique and it's also like a fresh take it's it's kind of i don't want to say that it's it starts off like camp, a ice movie. but like there's some yeah it's like it has so many twists in it um it's like a mix of genres and a perfect balance of horror and, and comedy and you have at the center a vampire ballerina that that in itself, I think, is very unique. <laughs> I'm hoping we get a sequel if everything goes well, which I think it will. We would love to see one. I know the audience definitely wants one. So, Thank you so Thank much. You. Congratulations so Thank much. You.